Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video, I'll be trying out the Uster spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. So the Uster spray paint comes in a 400ml can and has an ultra low soft valve system. It also comes with an Uster lemon universal cap. The lacquer base is acrylic, it has a matte finish and there are around 72 colours in the range. The price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it costs around £3.95 a can. And the colours I'll be using are orange, green, black and white. You can find the names of the colours in the description box below as I can't pronounce them right. Right, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the uh, Uster spray paint works for making spray paint art. Right then, the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is an Uster Lemon Universal Cap. And I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least 2 minutes each. And when you get them, the caps will be off the cans like this. The reason for that is that's to stop the cap spraying everywhere while in transit. So I'll be doing the cap test with the black spray paint. So I'll just move this one out of the way. Remember, give them a good shake before you use them. I'm just going to pull some paint through the cap. Like I said, I'll be doing a cap test on a glossy piece of card, which is this here. So, right then, so I've pulled some paint through, so. As you can see there, the cap produced a nice thin line, about an inch wide. I didn't let too much paint out, which is good. So I'll give you a closer look of what the cap produced, the line. Now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting I'll be using glossy card which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are some lid stencils. These are just lids off food tubs, different size ones. I'll be using a metal paint scraper. I'll be using a pally knife, that's a sign of painting with. I'll be using another food tub, which is a cone shaped food tub with an hole in the bottom. And also be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. These will be for making the texture in the painting, like on the planet and in the background. Right then, the first thing we'll do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where you want your planets to go. I think I'll have one there. One here and one there I think. Something like that. And I'm going to get the orange and just spray round them to give you an outline of where your planets are going to go. So just pull some paint through this orange. This cap. Like I said I'm just going to spray round these lids. I like this valve system, nice and easy to press, press, I like the cap. Yeah, nice and easy to press, cap doesn't produce much paint. Nice valve system, nice and easy to press down. So I'm liking that at the moment. Right, so now we have the outlines for the planets. We'll take the lid stencils back off for now. Get rid of some of this here. So what we're going to do now is 
Fill the outlines in with some colours. So I'll get the green now. Pull some paint through this cap. Like I said, we're just fill the outlines in with some colours, so a bit of green here. Like these colours, bright colours, a bit of orange. A bit more green, I think, on there. Bit of orange this side. Right, so there colours are. Now we'll get some black and white. Put some black in it. Then some white. I'll just pull the white through the cap. So there are the colours for the planets on, so we'll get the material that we're going to use to make the texture. Like I said, I'll be using this plastic sheet it's from a bag that I've cut off. So we'll crunch it up a bit to make some lines in it for your texture on your planet. Then we'll just place it over the top to make the texture on your planet. So give it a light rub. Then we'll pull it back off to make your texture on the planet. Go over a bit here, bit here. You can go back over it if you want. You can pull a bit more of a green through. It's underneath a bit of the orange. I think I'll leave that like that. So now we'll go and do the highlights on the planet. So first we'll get the white. Do the white eye like this side. So what you want to do is like a mist over it. So we'll see what these caps are like for misting. So just press the cap down lightly to get a bit of a mist. It's quite nice like that. Done a nice mist there. And what I think I might do, I might add a bit of green here first. So we're just going to mist it a bit. We'll go to black and we'll do the shadowed area with a bit of black. So like that, so that's the highlights and shadows done on the big planet. So now we'll move to the small ones. I'll do this one first, so a bit of green. Bit of orange there, uh, a bit more green, some black, and some white. Spitting a bit, this white one is. In fact, if you start spitting like that, you can always just wipe the cap a bit, where the build up of paint is on the cap, and then it should stop spitting then. We'll get another bit of plastic or whatever material you're using. I'm going to fold this one in half of this one, like that. And then again, so you end up with it like that. You can do this with any material, magazine paper, newspaper, plastic bag, grocery bag, anything like that. Then we're just going to place it on and we're going to just turn it slightly. Pull it back off. If you want, you can go again, just fold it so you get a clean piece. So quite like that, so I'm going to leave that like that. So now we'll add the highlights and shadows to it. So we'll do the highlights this side, so just do a bit of a mist on it. Do 
do work well these caps off for uh, hot misting and stuff like that and as you can see now I've wiped the paint off the nozzle here where the paint comes out it doesn't spit now so now we'll go back to the black do some shadow this side So like that, so that's that one done. So I'll move on to this one here. Put some orange. Some green. Some more orange in it. When you press the cap down, it doesn't release much paint either. Which is nice. Got a nice control of how much paint comes out. So now we'll go with black. And the white. So I'm going to put a bit more white on here, a bit more over black. So now we'll get the material we use to make a texture with. Like I said, I'll be using a plastic bag that I've cut off, crunch it up. So you get some crinkles in there creases like that and we'll just place it on and give it a rub so it's a lighter rub gives you a different texture you can always like pull your bag back have a look and if you want go back over in places do a bit more there So I'll have a texture on that one. So now I'll add the highlights and shadows to it. So we'll get the white for the highlight. I'm just going to do the highlight here. So just be careful about hitting this planet. So. I'll do for the highlight on there. Now we'll add some shadow on it. Yeah, I'm liking this valve system. Press it quite light, not much pain comes out, which is nice. Press it a bit harder, a bit more pain comes out, but doesn't let too much out, so it doesn't pool in one spot, which is good. Quite liking these, like the colours as well. So that's all the highlights and shadows on the planet. So the next thing we're going to do is place the lid stencils back on, but ideally you want the paint to be dry before doing this. Because if the paint's wet and you place the lid stencils on, the lid stencils will dig into a wet paint. And then when you pull them off later on, you'll have like a ring around your planet where the lid sat or in places on your planet. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. So I'll get a big lid stencil, place it on the sheet. Just make sure you've got a bit of a shadowed area and the highlighted area underneath your lid stencil so I think I'll have that one there and then do this one I'll have that there and then this other one I think I'll have there so there are your lid stencils on for your planet. So now we'll move on to the background. So first of all, I think I'll add some colours down here. I think I'll do orange first. Bit of a spit in here. Bit of a build up on the nozzle. So I'll just give that a wipe. So that's wiped. And then the spitting stops, just to build up a paint around the nozzle. Once you clean it, stop spitting. Quite like that, you press the cap all the way down, it doesn't really let too much paint out, which is good. It still makes a nice thin line. So I'll go on to green now, add a bit of green into the orange. So, so you press the cap fully down, 
still gives you a nice thin line, doesn't let too much paint out. So I think I might just put a bit of white in here as well, do a line of white. I'll just put a line of white down here. Bit over there like that. So it's just a bit more orange there. So that's some colour added to a background, so just get the black and I'm going to go over it with black. Just be careful when you get close to your lid stencil, spray a bit lighter so you get no leaking underneath, no overspray underneath your lid stencil onto your planets. So now I'm going to add some texture to it, to the background, so just give a plastic sheet again. Crinkle it up a bit. Get texture in it. Some lines, crinkles for your texture. I'm just going to place it over a sheet. It's the same way as doing the planets. Just put it on, give it a light rub. Make some texture in the background like a galaxy or summit. You can always go over it again. Just I go back over with a clean piece, so then you're not moving the black over all the colours. So I quite like that, gives a bit of texture in the background. So what I'll do now is get the black, we'll go around these lid stencils. Like I said, just go light around them, so you get no leaking in them. So I quite like this valve system. Even if you do accidentally press it a bit hard, it still doesn't really let much paint out, which is good. The no thing is, you do get a bit of build up of paint there, but that's cause, because it might be because it's spraying like that down. But that's no problem. As long as you keep them um, clear, the nozzle stops spitting, see? Clean the nozzle and it doesn't spit. It's not really a big issue. It might be just a case of getting used to the caps and the cans and how they spray. Now to press the cap down and stuff like that. Just practice and getting used to it. So this is your first time using this paint, the Ulster spray paint. So it's like kind of a learning thing for me as well. Learning what how the caps work, what the pressure's like in the cans, things like that. So now that's all the background done black. Just gonna put a bit here, fade this back in. Bit there, bit here. Now what I'm gonna do is I think I'll get a green, I'll see how well it mists. Might put a bit of green here, green and orange. So we're just gonna mist it kind of thing. Same as we did the highlights on the planet. Add a bit of colour to it, like a bit of glow. So when you're misting, all you want to do is move pretty fast up and down the sheet while you're pressing the can, so you get like more of a mist. We'll go to a bit of orange, I think. Add a bit of orange to it, a bit of orange glow as well. Well, you just take your time when you're doing the background. Just enjoy while you're painting. There's no rush when you're doing it, doing spray paint art. Just take your time and enjoy it. So I'll just add a bit more green, I think. Not much. So 
So I've got a light bar. Like a greeny orange glow off it. So I just put a bit more orange in. Like that, I think. Quite like that. I'm just going to get a black. I'm just going to fade that in there. I'm going to fade the green this way. Back into the background. Fade the green back in a bit. Now I'm just going to add a bit of green and that. Right, things might have a bit around this big planet here, I think. See what it's like. I think I might just do this top edge here. Yeah? So, just get it and press it towards the lid stencil. Like that. Like that, so. I'm just going to do a bit here. Yeah? So you get close to the lid stencil. So I like that. Nice bright green that is. Like it. Kind of pops off it with the black underneath. Kind of makes a green pop. I think I might try this orange. Might do the orange around these small ones, I think. Said you can put anything in your spray paint art. No rules or nothing. Just do what you want. See, so I've missed that a bit, so it's gone all the way round, but you can tidy that up with a bit of black in a minute. So I'll put a bit on this one here. Done the same, but doesn't matter, you can get a black and then you can just tidy it up around the edges. Same here. And you can also do the green if you want, just blend it back out into the black background. And if you go too much with the black in places like that, say, say you've gone too much there, you can always go back with a bit of green and just go back and add it back in. Then same as this end. So I quite like that, I might just, just put a bit of you know, like space gas dust or whatever in it. The green there. Uh, put a bit of green there. Green, a bit of orange, I think. And the green just up here a bit. So we're just spraying the cap lightly. Get a bit of mist effect. Light them colours. So back to the black, we can just tidy bits up, make it blacker in space places. They've got a bit of build up on the nozzle. Like I said, just wipe it off, it stops spitting then. The thing I'll do, I think, for the background, just add a bit more green here, I think. Bit there. Bit here. Yeah, I think I'll do for the background, quite like that. So now we'll add some stars to the painting. So with the white spray paint, we're going to spray some white onto the fingers here. So, so then you end up with something like that. 
And then what you want to do, when you spray some onto your fingers, flick it away from the sheet a couple of times first to get some of the paint off your fingers and then flick the rest onto the sheet. This way you haven't got a lot of paint on your fingers and then when you flick it onto the sheet, you won't have big white blobs on your painting that don't look like stars. So flick it away a couple of times and then flick the rest onto the sheet. You can add as many stars as you want to your painting. It's up to you. We'll put a few down here. Up here, put a few more here down the bottom. There's a bit too much white paint on my finger then. As you can see, a couple of big white blobs have fell, fallen on the, on the painting. But you can get away with that because they're kind of spaced out. Sometimes they'll all land, land in one spot like this, big white blobs. And they'll just be a clump of white blobs that won't look like stars. I think I'll just add couple more just here. So what I'll do for the stars in the painting, just wipe this paint off my hand. Right then, there are the small stars added to the painting. So what we're going to do now is add a big star to the painting. So I'm going to be using a metal paint scraper for this. I think I'll put one here, I think, here somewhere. So with the white spray paint, we'll be spraying the white here to produce the lines on your star. So we'll get the white and we'll spray it about here in the middle because the overspray will be making the lines on the star. So. Right, with the white and the paint scraper, we'll put it on the sheet where we want the star to go. So I think I'll have it here, so I'll go. So we're going to spray onto a scraper in the middle. Just watch out for a build up of paint on your scraper. If it gets too much, just wipe it off because you don't want this dripping off onto your painting. It'll leave big white blobs on it. So you just wipe it off with a cloth or something like that. We'll get a bit closer, it's a bit far away from the sheet there. See, so if you want, you could wipe this every time, just to be on the safe side. So you don't get any paint dripping off it. Let's put another line here. So I'm going to spray this one again without wiping the scraper. So there the line's done and the paint was still a bit wet when I put the paint scraper on so it's dug into the paint a bit. Ideally if you're going to do these stars you want the background to be dry and then you can put the paint scraper straight onto your painting and then you get neater, thin lines on it. The closer you are to the painting, the neater the white lines will be and the thinner they'll be. So we've just got a bit of fluff on here from the cloth or something. I have to leave that on for now. Let's see if I can get it off like this. So 
Oh, that's it. You can also, these lines are a bit small at the moment because I'm with a paint scraper uh, for like small stars. So you can always, there's a range of different paint scrapers. I have ML paint scrapers. You got a bigger one like this. So you got a small one and a bigger one. These will make longer lines. So what you could do is, I could make these lines longer. We could get a longer one now. Same principle, spray into the middle of a scraper. We can put it on there. So these will make bigger lines now. And just remember to keep an eye on the paint as well on the scraper. I'll go again. And do this one a bit more. See, I haven't wiped the scraper yet, and the paint's in there. There's quite a lot on there because it's not runny paint or anything, and if the cap isn't producing much paint out, you can leave it like that. And sometimes you can get away with not cleaning it every time. So I'll do this last one here. So then with a bigger scraper like that, you can produce bigger lines. Because you're kind of limited to how big your star can be with this one. Which sometimes isn't a bad thing if you want to put small stars in there. In your painting. Or bigger stars, something like this. So now the lines are done for the star, we're going to add some white into the middle now. So I'm going to spray straight out of the cap onto the painting, but first of all I'm just going to spray a couple of times here to see how big of a blob comes out, how big of a circle. Just give this nozzle a wipe, clean it off. Might be all right. Yeah, I'll give it a go, I think. Seems those doing thin enough bonds. So we'll line the cap up in the middle where all the lines cross over. Hopefully I'll get this one in the middle. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I've been off slightly. So then we're just going to press the cap lightly. So, slightly off on that one as well, that first spray. But that's all right. Quite like it. So, I like the middle of that star there. The cap didn't produce too much paint out when I sprayed it lightly. I did spray it twice there as well. And there's still not much paint there, which is good. Not a big white blob that covers all the lines up. So I quite like the look of that star. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to move on to some more stars now. I'm going to use this plastic cone shape, the food tub, the cone shaped food tub with the hole in the bottom. And I'm just going to add some bigger stars, a bit smaller than this star and a bit bigger than the stars that we flipped on with our fingers. So you can put like colorful stars in. I might put a green one in. Put a green one here, I think. So, the closer you get to it, the smaller the star will be, and the more compact it'll be. The further away you are from it, it'll spray it like a glow off it. So, all the about two, three inches off the off the painting, and we're just going to spray the paint straight through. So then get like a glowing green star there. So I might put one up here. You can also add a couple of orange ones. Might put a few orange ones in there. 
So it's up to you, whatever you want to put in your painting, so. Put one there, I might put, put one down here. So I'll do for us colour stars and what you can do then you can use this again but with a white and you can go over where you put the colours and get a bit closer just put a bit of white in the middle so it looks like it's a glowing star then and this one here So like I said before, I quite like these cans. Don't let too much paint out. Even when you press it a bit harder than you should have, it still doesn't let too much out, which is good. Valve system's working well on them. Cap's working well. You do get the odd spitting from the cap, but as long as you're cleaning, keep that nozzle clear. It sprays fine without spitting. So we'll go back to the white and use this. I'm just going to add a couple of white stars in now so same principle as doing these coloured ones so I've one there one there one there one here one there it's up to you how many of these big stars you put in I'm just putting a few in to show you I'll just have one here between these. So I'll go a bit close for this one. So you don't get much of a spray off. Where these look sort of glowing, that one. Right, so there are all the stars added to the painting. So now it's time to take the lid stencils back off. So like I said, the paint was a bit wet when I put the lid stencils on. So just take your time and you're lifting them. Because the background will still be a bit wet. So that's the first plan it off. Do this other one here, a smaller one. They're slightly stuck, but not much. That one now, we'll have a big one. So that's a bit stuck. Now, as you can see, see, putting it down with a wet paint, the lid's stuck. So what I'll do is get a pallet knife for summer. I'm going to have to try and hold the sheet down a bit. It's coming now slowly, just take your time. This is why I always say, put the lids down when the paint's dry. So they have the lid stencils off the planet. I quite like the look of these planets. I like the texture on them. Each one's slightly different from the other. And as you saw, when I took this big lid stencil off this planet, the, the lid stuck a bit, slightly stuck. So that's why I say put the lids on when the paint's dry so you get none of this sticking of the lids. And also, because it's stuck and the paint was wet, it's dug into the paint a bit here and left a ring on the planet here. I'm not sure whether you can see it in the video. So that's why I always say make sure the paint's dry before placing your lid stencils on. But this wouldn't happen. Right then, that's the painting finished. So the last thing we're going to do is sign a painting. So grab your pallet knife or whatever you're using, sign a painting. I'm going to sign it here. So the paint's dry down here. So what you can do. If it's too dry for your pallet knife, you can get something like a paint pen or a white marker or whatever you're using to sign your work with. And then you can just sign it with that. So. So I think the Uster spray paint worked well for spray paint art. The lemon universal cap that came with the cans worked really well and didn't let too much paint out, which is good. It did at times spit a little, but that could be me not being used to the caps. 
but with a wipe around the nozzle it would stop spitting. If I was going to use the Uster for spray paint art, then I would just use the stock cap as it worked really well for doing different things. The paint also dried pretty fast which can be a good thing. The ultra low soft valve system worked really well and gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things but overall I enjoy painting with the Uster spray paint and liked how the painting has turned out. I found it nice to use and the colours I chose were nice and bright. And also, just remember to take your time, enjoy while you're painting, and let each layer stage dry before moving on to the next. Right, I'll just give you a closer look of a painting. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.